So first of all I'd like to thank the organisers of the Sustainable Living Festival for the invitation to come and speak about the Great Forest National Park that's planned for the Mount Ash and Alpine Ash Forests of the Central Highlands. One of my tasks that I've been set for the, for the next few days is to review the draft codes of practice for the management of Mount Ash Forests. And unfortunately, the document that I've been sent to review is unfortunately not even mediocre. What's happening is that the last 30 years of science has somehow not made its way into this document, which is more than 30 years out of date. So the document says that it's going to take on board the best available, the latest scientific research to help guide the management of forests. And what has happened here is that that latest science that we've been doing, when I say latest, for that's for the last three decades, has been blatantly ignored in the preparation of this document. This document is not even mediocre. And what it highlights is that presently the Victorian government either doesn't care or does not want to know about how to best manage forests. And the only sensible option here is to move a significant proportion of the mountain ash forest and alpine ash forests into the Great Forest National Park where logging will be removed. So the most important thing to do now for, for all Victorians is to get behind this great idea of a Great Forest National Park. It's a great outcome for communities, for the economy, for biodiversity, for fire prevention, for water quality, for climate change. All of those important things that I know that matter to the people of Victoria can be tied up in this, this wonderful initiative for a Great Forest National Park. One and a half to two hours drive from the MCG will take you to some of the most spectacular forests on the planet, to one of the most beautiful places in Australia, if not the world. It really is a must to come and see this amazing place, to experience the forests, to experience the wildlife, to experience an amazing part of the world. So the area that we're talking about includes wonderful places like Marysville, Healesville, Warburton, Buxton, Eildon, all these wonderful little towns that will benefit enormously from an initiative like the Great Forest National Park. The time's now to make this important decision to better manage this critical resource, not only for Leadbeater's possum, but for trying to tackle dangerous climate change, for ensuring that the quality of our water supply in Victoria is the best it can possibly be, and for a whole host of other reasons. This is the time for the Great Forest National Park.